Hey, this is Alex. Um, and I have another one of my deliveries from the People's Republic of China. This is a set of Klom, another set of Klom lockpicks, which, um, well, I think you'll think you'll find them interesting. So first of all, we start with the case. It's actually made of, well, it's probably pleather, but it's double layer. It's pretty supple and feels pretty strong. So over the other set, major improvement. Got a snap that feels pretty solid. Um, so also made in China. And here are the picks. I liked it because they were all hooks. Um, and I like hooks and I'm always collecting hooks. So, you know, there we go. So it comes with this little thing. It's got a little Velcro closure and very cleverly that holds these two tensors that it comes with, which are of questionable utility, but I don't know. They're a little thick, but you know, sometimes these are this kind of shape is nice. They are pretty heavy. So if you think if you trimmed them down, they'd be kind of like one of those music wire, um, be kind of like those music wire picks or uh, tensors that some of the guys have made. But um, just the the feature that's cool is that this little piece of Velcro keeps them from falling down inside the pocket. All right. So here are the picks. Um, Standard kind of profiles, you know, this is sort of a offset ball, another offset ball, a lifter, we don't know what the hell that is, and then a couple of curves. These three kind of look the same, I, maybe maybe they need a little adjustment or something. I haven't really used these very much. I think I've used this one, um, but, you know. What they've done is they've taken a piece of, um, of bar stock, a round, round bar, um, that is approximately, it's a little hard to get a good purchase on here, but uh, it's 0.17 inches or um, it's like about four and three quarter mil, something on that order, um, round stock. And they have milled it down um, very nicely. The edges are all very shiny. It's been ground. There are no burrs really. Um, I would polish the little bit of this curve right here a little bit, but other than that, I mean, <laughs> these are some of the best finished picks I've ever seen um, out of the box. I've done absolutely nothing to these. The, the handles are pretty nice. They're um, a hard rubber sort of material, not, not really sticky. Um, almost no give to it. You get very good feedback. The metal goes, feels like it goes all the way down into the end and the, the little um, black bits are like a, a, a plastic. So if you have it in your hand and you're pressing that up against the, the palm of your hand this way um, or this way, you get really good feedback. And of course this shaft is solid steel um, and uh, pretty thick. So if you've got your finger on or thumb or whatever on the shaft, you get amazing feedback from these. So that's really cool. Um, up to this point, total win, right? And pretty cheap too, I think, maybe $20 for this set. Maybe less, I can't remember. Here's the problem I have. So these are pretty thick. So at the end, this particular one is, 0.91 mil or 0.35. Now that's that's on the outside for thickness, in my opinion. Um, some locks that will get in a lot of locks. That's just way too thick. Um, and then if we slide this up, as we go up the shaft, it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So by the time you're in the depth of you know, a key that obviously you wouldn't use this for a dimple lock, but you know, it's, that's a reasonable approximation of a five pin lock. You're at 040 um, inches or just over a millimeter, and you're having trouble getting up into that keyway at that point. Okay, just to give you another example, here's a, here's a pin tumbler, uh, regular pin tumbler lock. So it's about full depth there, and um, just for giggles. And just quickly mic that edge there. So that's about the same thickness, about a millimeter uh, at the very top. So you're probably not going to weasel this in through the wards and be able to get a full full depth set with these. 
That said, I don't know, maybe a little bit of filing or a little bit of polishing and we can get these down to something more reasonable. Um, and, uh, you know, a couple of these are a little thinner. I'm looking at them more carefully. So this one is 0.62 mil or 024. Now that's right in the range of a Peterson, uh, the Peterson government, I think, which is, yep, 024, 025 inches. So, um, about 0.6 mil. So, um, I don't know. I think these hold promise. Construction is good. Um, the steel is good. Don't like the handle. You can probably just cut this handle off, put something else on. And um, most of all, I think it gives us a hint that um, a good way to make a pick, um, particularly if you want a really good heavy handle, would be to take something like this, a, a carbon steel or stainless steel uh, rod. Um, this is just a little over quarter inch. You can buy a quarter inch rod at the uh, at your hardware store, um, certainly at like Lowe's or Home Depot in the U.S. Um, and, you know, uh, grind it down, file it down to whatever shape you like, um, and get, you know, it is limiting their amount of depth unless you bend it, but um, get a pretty nice heavy pick. I mean, these are, these have a lot of heft to them. Um, and uh, I think they're kind of neat. And they're color coded. As you can see, um, I don't know what the if there's any rhyme or reason to the color codes, but you've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven distinct colors. So easy to find the one you want on your bench um, if you're uh, when you're out picking. So um, anyhow, uh, I'm going to give this you know a pretty decent rating. Um, quality construction, really good, a ton better than the other clumps we looked at. Um, the steel is pretty good, feels pretty good, it's, uh, you know, pretty hefty, I mean, I'm pressing down really hard, that's hardly moving, let's try this other one that was a little thinner, even that is, I mean, it's a little bendy this way, but in the, 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 uh, upward or downward direction, almost no bend, um, and, uh, I have beat on one of these a little bit and didn't really hurt it, so, um, you know, for me, being a heavy-handed kind of guy, that's a good thing. Um, but so I would expect them to be pretty durable. I'm happy with this with this purchase. I'll let you know uh, if there's if I have any problems with it, but I'm happy with that. So um, take a look at that. I think you can get this on um, whatever it's called DHgate or you know the various uh, Chinese uh, um, retailers or whatever uh, distributors um, sell it, and it's pretty inexpensive. So um, check it out. Maybe something you want to try out. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Alex. Um, have fun, and as always, keep it legal. Cheers.